Good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. And in today's Azure video, I'm here to talk about Traffic Manager and how you can utilize uh, various routing method within Traffic Manager to route the traffic to your uh, web services. Now, before I get into the Traffic Manager, uh, in order to test this, I have uh, two uh, web app services running with the name IT Simplified 1 and IT Simplified 2. And if you don't know how to create that, you can just go to App Services or you can just do a quick search within All Services and uh, click on the Add button. And under Web Apps, you have the option of Web Apps and you can click on Create. And what I have done is that uh, I have uh, published two uh, web pages in order to test this. So if I get into my Web Apps, I'm on my IT Simplified 1 page. So this is the uh, page on the uh, web server one. And if I can go on to the second one, it's with the name uh, web two. So these are the two web pages that will be testing in case one of the region goes down. So In order to better explain that, let me just go to my uh, whiteboard. So what I have done is that I have uh, t these two app services running in two region. One is the Central Canada. And the other one is East Canada. And this is IT Simplified 1 and this is IT Simplified 2 and now what I intend to do is I want to put a traffic manager here and in case one of the region goes down I should be still be able to access my app services and uh, if you know traffic manager has uh, four kind of routing method the first one is priority which I'm going to test and show you today what does that mean is in case one of the uh, server goes down uh, the traffic will be routed uh, to the uh, to the others uh, app services within uh, azure the second one is weighted which is basically like a round robin so one uh, request go to the one endpoint and the second one will go to the second endpoint it's equally distributed the third one is performance which is based on the network latency. So depending upon where the traffic is coming from, depending upon what kind of network latency, it will automatically uh, send the uh, request to that web server. And the last one is the geographic, uh, through which you can specify if the request is coming from, say, Toronto region, it will go to the Canada Central, uh, and if it's coming from somewhere from Quebec, it will go to the East Canada and that can be specified by using the geographic routing method within Traffic Manager. But the important thing is that these are the four routing option and Traffic Manager works on the DNS level. And sometimes there is a confusion between a Traffic Manager and Load Balancer. Load Balancer works on the transport layer of the OSI model and Traffic Manager works on the DNS. That's the basic and major difference between the uh, two services. Now in order to test this, let's go back to my Azure portal and what I want to do is I want to create a uh, traffic manager profile. Again, if you don't see this, you can just go to all services and uh, do a search. So let me create a profile with the name IT Simplified. Make sure you get the green check mark and in the routing method as i said there are four options i will pick priority and will test with this and i will put this in my existing resource group which is uh, traffic manager demo and click on create so it was created successfully let's get into this uh, profile and add the endpoints so if you go into settings you have the option of endpoints 
and click on add and under the type these are the Azure endpoints you can also use it for external endpoints if it is running not within Azure boundary but in our case it is within Azure and I'll give this name as IT simplified one and under target resource type you can go cloud app app service or public IP in my case it is app service and under target resource group I'll pick IT simplified one and make the priority as number one because that is where I want the traffic to go in the first place and click on OK okay with this created let's go to the second endpoint now we'll do the same way we'll name it IT simplified to pick app services and in the target resource group I'm gonna pick IT simplified 2 now and I'll make this priority 2 uh, because I want the traffic to go this at the second place in case the first is not available and click on OK so with both of them created successfully let's close this and uh, we'll go to the overview button of our profile and grab the URL for the profile and let's see if I go I should be hitting the web server one which is IT simplified one okay so it is working properly so but what I want to test is in case my first server goes down or first app service goes down it should route the traffic to the second endpoint so let's go to the app service and uh, I will switch this off so in a DR kind of scenario uh, my uh, first app services which is running in Canada central region is going down and I want the traffic to be routed to Canada East automatically so Okay, so this seems to be stopped so if I go to my traffic manager DNS it should get an error so you can see that uh, I'm not able to reach my web app okay so let's try this one more time so if I refresh the page or if I grab my traffic manager DNS I should be able to still reach Okay, so let me just grab the uh, DNS for the traffic manager again and uh, try this and I should be routed to the uh, second uh, server so here we go that we are the traffic is routed to the uh, second server web app server because my first web app is down so this successfully proves that uh, uh, traffic manager works and in our case we have uh, used the uh, priority method for routing our traffic but just to be aware that there are also other three options which are available and uh, we have specified these services to the region Canada Central Canada East and we uh, deliberately uh, stopped our Canada Central region application and the traffic was automatically routed to the Canada East I hope you found this video on traffic manager useful thanks for watching have a good day